disastrous flooding of the Yellow River and subsequent famine during the reign of the now deposed usurper Wang Mang caused upheaval throughout the empire. The royal tumuli at Chang'an were sacked and the city left in ruins. Guangwu Di, the new emperor and legitimate heir to the Han throne, has decreed that a new Han capital must be established further east at Luoyang. In the early days of Chang'an, your ancestor nobly served the renowned Emperor Wu Di as city administrator. Our sagacious new emperor now calls upon you to see if you possess the same shrewd administrative and planning skills as your esteemed ancestor. Furthermore, trade along the Silk Road must be resumed forthwith, as a distant empire's thirst for our luxurious silk is hard to quench. Meanwhile, our northern border remains a problem, as the wily Zhongnu are quick to take advantage of our recent internal strife. Trusted generals predict that barbarian raids targeting border cities should not be unexpected. Any spare hours the citizens might have can now be spent relaxing in lovely Tai Chi parks. Paying homage to Zhao Jun, a respected Taoist deity, could provide important benefits to the growing city. Lastly, remain cautious of the dangerous and unpredictable waters. G'day mates, welcome back to Emperor. Looks like we've got a few different changes coming up in the current episode. So first of all, the Han Dynasty, or the Han Empire, appears to be beginning to collapse in on itself. So Chang'an has, uh, has been completely... Uh, sacked and destroyed and they may still be standing but they're not going to be very happy very strong city uh, Tai Chi parks sound like a uh, I suppose they're probably a type of decoration I've never actually played this far in the game so I've got no idea uh, what we're dealing with but Tai Chi parks sound like a um, uh, a beautiful beautifying item and uh, dangerous and unpredictable waters sound like we're probably going to be having some flooding on the map as well as a new a god is going to be unlocked so let's dive on into the city and have a quick look at what we've got here first of all i want to have a look at this new god zhao jun uh heaven on the household da, 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 new years some perhaps he does something at new year i'm not sure let's have a look here Halves the building cost of houses and food shops, which is completely useless because by the time you've got him, uh, your city will already be going. You can't get him right at the beginning, and I tend to build all my housing very early. Uh, I can bless a food shop. That's kind of useful, perhaps. Although I think you'd have to do it regularly to keep the food leveled up, but it could keep you tied it over if uh, you have a particularly bad harvest or something. And yeah, there you go. New Year's Festival is free when he's active. Hopefully that means in food as well as cash. It takes around about five or 600 gold, I think, to actually have the new year, as well as a whole big bunch of food based on your population. And he delivers delicious food to every house he passes, which could be very, very useful. So we'd have him in the noble quarter and he can give some very nice food to people. Obviously it looks like he does enjoy his food quite a bit. Now let's have a look what we've got here on this map. Let's have a look around the map, first of all. It is a big ass map. There's a lot of openings. This is copper over here, so we can probably put some mint, uh, put a mint down, and uh, and get a little bit of ongoing cash that way. It's not a huge amount, but it does add up over the length of the mission. Um, looks like this place has been a bit destroyed. Where are we? Where is Luoyang? East here. Um, hmm. Nothing particular. Is there any iron on this map? I don't think so. Let's see if we've got any iron, melt, iron uh, smelters. They're in here. No, no iron smelters at all. What resources? We've got logging sheds and clay pits. We've got weavers, jade carvers, kiln lacquerware. We can make weapons if required. And I suspect we're going to have to. But we have to import the iron, which could be a concern. So where does the iron come from? Uh, who do we trade with? Kashgar. Kashgar won't sell us. I'm going to have to find out who sells us the iron because we're going to need to get iron in to make weapons. Um, food types. Soybean and wheat is too tall. Okay, there's no hunting and no fishing. So we aren't, we're limited to two types of food here. That is very limiting because we'll have to import just to get the appetizing food for our regular houses. And we're going to need impressive compounds, which means we'll have to import at least two types of food to get up to uh, delicious or tasty or whatever that food level is. With regards to that, we can produce silk, so our industry will be going quite nicely. 
uh, and I'm assuming we'll sell shit tons of it. 36 per year through to Kashgar, and there's a land trader out, which is nice and easy. So I think I've got a fair idea how this is going to proceed. I'm going to have to obviously plan out the city, but I think I'll cut back once that's happened. Okay guys, we've got the very bare bones of the city set up. I've got a housing block here, a smaller housing block here, and another one prepared for later. We're going to need uh, 4,000 people now. I think I can get 4,000 people out of these two when they're maximum, uh, when they're, at, they're fully leveled up, but I'm not completely sure, so I have put aside some space for it. And of course I've got enough space for farms around it, more than enough, in fact. Uh, silk can probably be done over here somewhere, I think. Oh, I've got to be careful because flooding will come up. I don't want to build too close to this uh, this river. So they are going to come up and flood. But um, I can do a lot of my other industry up here. Perhaps my weapons production can be done up in this area. So I think I'm fairly well set up here. I've got a little noble quarters prepared for soon because we're going to need... 120 people in impressive compound is, I believe, six houses. So we got more than enough. One, two, three, four, five, six just here in the center. I could probably put another one, maybe two here, depending on on uh, how far this uh, anti-feng shui thing goes, and probably get another two up there as well. Uh, unlikely to get any here, but I have left the trees just in case. Now, so far, everything is in perfect harmony. It says auspicious for some reason, but uh, everything's in perfect harmony as far as I can tell. I'm assuming when I uh, tick time over, that will go up to maximum. So uh, it's not going to stay like that most likely unless I do a, some very clever building. But I have got this housing block can be fully done up as well. So I'm, I'm fairly happy with how I'm going so far. Uh, with that, I think I'm going to set up the farms, open up some trade, and uh, keep time ticking over. Alrighty, Lulan has become an ally. I believe that was our city last time. Let's have a quick look at them. They will buy timber, which I suppose we could sell. Rice, silk. Okay, they'll buy more silk. That's brilliant. We can keep selling, we can sell 48 silk now. And they'll, okay, they will sell us steel. Steel means we've moved past the Iron Age now. We are now in the Steel Age, which means we're gonna to need to get, um, that can be set up up here nicely. We're gonna to need to have import steel for our weapons. I don't know if it's gonna be more expensive than iron or if there's anything involved in it. I think steel smelters require iron and timber to make charcoal in order to um, properly work. I mean, they may just they may just work the same as normal because I know bronze smelters only required copper and they just abstracted away the tin requirement for bronze. So it could just be that it's exactly the same, just a cosmetic change, but we are now in the steel age, which is very interesting. So we're, I don't know, 12, 13, 1400s, somewhere around there anyway. Actually, I could probably look. Where is the year? 25? I think China had steel quite that early, but doesn't matter. Let's continue on. Okay, a couple of the trade agreements have come through. What have we got to work with? We've got, they'll buy more silk, probably another 12. Uh, these guys haven't gone that far. Low, low Lang will buy rice from us. We can't produce it, but they will sell us salt, which could be handy, as well as bean curd and fish. So Low Lang could be an interesting, um, trading partner for getting food. The only problem is we have to give them rice, which we can't grow. So it'll be a little more difficult to open that one up after use cash. Uh, some of the others haven't opened up. Oh, one thing to mention while I'm on camera, Chang'an cannot be interacted with at all. The whole city has been completely sacked and possibly razed to the ground. There's not a whole lot there. So hopefully they will open up trade later. I'm not sure what will happen. Okay, Yin, Guangzhou, Chengdu, and a couple of the others have come through. Let's have a look what we've got here. Guangzhou will buy steel, useless to us. Uh, bean curd, I think we can make. They'll sell us rice, rice, salt, and weapons. So they could be, rice and salt could well cover our uh, our problem there for in regards to food variety. Uh, produces salt. So we've got a few people here who will now trade with us. This is kind of handy. They won't sell anything. Actually, salt we could get from them as well. Steel and salt, I think, is something we're going to have to get in early just to get our weapons going and um, and to get us up to the appropriate level. So I could probably put them somewhere here. Uh, actually, no, I need it to... I need the steel. So I'm going to have to put them up here for trade. And we can get the salt down there and bring the steel over here 
to uh, to work that into weapons, and I think that's how we're going to do once, of course, we get enough people here. And of course, cash is going to be important, so I'm probably going to get silk before I get um, I'm going to get the silk industry set up before I move on to the weapons. I think, unless there is somebody who will buy a significant number of weapons from us, doesn't look like it just yet. They could buy weapons. Hmm. I have to figure that one out as I go along. Okay, steel costs 90. That is interesting. 90 to import is reasonably high. Let's undo that. And then check out what weapon. No, they... Or they sell us weapons. That's good enough. Uh, and we can sell weapons for 120. So not a huge value, amount of value to be made out of the weapon, the weapon trade just yet. So I'm not going to really bother with it at the moment. Uh, I will want later on if I have a, a huge stockpile of weapons, but for now I think we're just going to keep things going over nicely. Agriculture is beginning to get people in, so I'm going to actually put it as a high priority. Uh, yeah, I'm going to put it as a high priority for now. I've shut down... Ooh, I hope that pan doesn't get in the way. I've shut down these two and I've shut down these two farms here. Uh, so it's only going to be these two that actually work. Wheat is starting production and they're starting production too so we need more workers to get a little bit of food in uh, looks like things are things are going well i think yeah i'm just going to leave it like this i'll open up these farms next year so we've got a little bit of food coming in that will allow us to throw down the first shop and uh, increase our population that way okay and with that we've hit our first point of unemployment that's brilliant i can start turning on a couple more of these things now, I suppose getting hemp on and getting an additional uh, farm going will be important. So these people are beginning to move in. The next food harvest will allow us to open up this area here and of course the hemp will allow these people to level up to a higher level. We'll need to move on to ceramics to go any higher. But I think that before that happens I'm going to... Actually we've got a fair bit of cash. I might work on... I might work on getting the weapons trade going first, just in case uh, something happens. I did mention military would be an important aspect of this. So I think I want to get the military, the, the military weapons going first to get at least one or two forts laid down quickly. Okay, I've gone and ended up doing silk to start with. The silk season starts in April, so we do need to get our workers going, which we are currently doing on very high wages, which I can begin to drop down as... Uh, as things start to move in here but we're moving into the farming area now so we'll be able to staff the production side of this very very shortly but I think having a lot of cash gives me a lot more flexibility I can drop you down and drop you down again and there we go so we're back on to fairly sustainable once the farm harvest comes in the silk of course can be stored here the raw silk and I'll process it at a later date but once the um, food harvest comes in, I think what I'll be able to do is level you up to plain food. I may as well throw you down as plain food as well, right off the bat. So we're going to need the workers as they come in. And I think I may have made the wrong choice. Military build up at the Zhongyu Empire. So they've strengthened their military. Ooh, I may have stuffed this up big time, but cash will allow us to expand very, very quickly. So I think it's probably still the right choice here. What we're going to do for now is actually... Um, I'm actually going to throw down a sneaky storage yard here and just accept half of bean curd and what's the other thing we're growing? Wheat. Just accept 50-50 for the time being just so that we can uh, offload some of it. Okay, unemployment of 6%. These houses are about to explode outwards because the hemp the livery has just arrived and that's going to be flowing through as those shops begin to take down. We've also got shit tons and shit tons of, uh, what's this called? Of silk here waiting for us. So we'll throw down, I was hoping to get a bunch of these in, but I'm starting to hit that point where I just really don't care about feng shui anymore. But it doesn't matter. We'll throw those down for now. That'll absorb huge metric tons of our employment. It'll send us right into unemployment territory, but that'll be solved very very quickly now government is the low priority and they're not really doing much so that's where i could afford to absorb up to a hundred uh employee shortage and for now let's throw down cash over here you can export 
all the silk we're selling. We're also going to want to throw down, who else buys our silk? Luo Yarn will buy our silk, but we want to put them... Yeah, actually, I'll put them... Yeah, I'll put them just here as well. I'll put Luo Yarn just here, because we want to do weapons with them. So I'll throw them there. You can import all the steel you've got, and we will export all the silk that we're selling to you, which is not a huge amount, but is a little bit. Now, Guangzhou will also buy... No, they don't buy silk from us. Fuzhou buys silk from us. My mistake. Uh, but they produce rice and salt. So we want to get a, a bit of a stockpile of silk up shortly. And what I can do then is um, I can sell to them, or at least gift it to them, and open up and get the rice and salt to complete our food required for these impressive compounds over here. First of all, I'm not bothered with that just yet. Now you require music, which we can do next up. Uh, throw you there for now. And uh, things are beginning to look very, very nice. I'm going to have to open up you, which is going to give us a bit of a labor shortage again. And I'll open you up as well. So we're now ready to just fully evolve up. Ceramics will be our... No, weapons will be our next thing. And then we'll move on to ceramics with which to level these houses up further. Okay, I've probably gone overkill with the weapons manufacturers here, but we're going to fuel them down. It's our industry. It looks like we've got shit tons of unemployment. So that's those ones down there. Unemployment is pouring in, which is brilliant because we can use that to expand further as required, which will be our ceramics industry next. We've got enough weapons here to start stockpiling up. Uh, this here, of course, has to be right next to the rocks and can't be closer. So I just used a little bit of uh, grand way here to bump the road up, you know, ever so slightly like that so that uh, this here can actually have road access without having to change the shape of my road after I've already placed it down. Now these should all be reasonably harmonious. Down here I've got a couple that aren't done because I just need stuff in this area. But uh, I really don't like warehouses. They have to be too close to the rocks. So other than that, uh, things are doing reasonably well here. Everything else is in harmony so far at least. Now, I've got a shit ton more of this stuff coming in. I need to start exporting more. I've got loads of cash. So moving on to the forts uh, will be... I need a couple of forts down and then ceramics shortly. So I'm going to throw down probably infantry to begin with. I'm going to throw one, two infantry forts down. And how am I going to do this? I suppose I'll just... That work, that connects there. And I'll simply bring it over and just connect those two there. With a sneaky roadblock right there. That should keep us going. That's those two forts will begin to be stocked up. We'll have a small military. Next up, ceramics will allow me to move on and uh, and start leveling these guys up. We're also going to need a third housing type now. Sorry, a, a third food type to level up our housing beyond this. And we'll need it for the base level of the, uh, what are they called? The nobles over here as well. So I need to start thinking about that very, very shortly. Now I think I'm going to just trade it in and stick them in here and we can bring it in quite easily. The question is who do I want? Now I think Fuzhou are the people I'm going to use simply because there's two of them there but I need to stockpile up enough silk before I can tell just how much I've got available. So I'm going to keep weaving and then I can start gifting it away. Okay, Lu Yan, Lu, Luo Yan Lan is under attack. That is a small problem because we're not really perfectly set up to handle that just yet. We've only got the two things. Uh, please send troops within six months. Help us carry the day. This could be a problem. We're going to have to dispatch all of our troops at the moment. Um, although I'm, I'm worried somebody is going to invade. So to that end, what we're actually going to do is... Oh, shit. I hope I can still... I hope I can still send dispatch troops. Yes, I can. I can still... Oh, hang on. Have we? No, we haven't actually sent anything just yet. So I can still send troops if required. What we're going to need to do is get... Oh, shit. I haven't got any military guys. Well, we're going to need to build up. We're going to need to keep building up our weapons as fast as humanly possible. We've currently got more steel to bring in this year. So I'm going to spend a little bit more time. Are they not selling steel? Why aren't they selling me steel? There we go. There's a bit of steel. Hopefully we can get a couple of weapons in before time runs out. I can send off something to Luo Yan to protect them. How much time have I got left? It doesn't say. Let's see if I can figure out how much time I've got. Okay, six months, and that was in April. It's currently May, so 
say April's one month. Let's just be safe here. April, May, June, July, August. I have to send them by August. That's five months in. Um, in order to get there in time. So I have a short amount of time to make a couple more weapons and prepare my military forces. Okay, Lua Yan is under attack. I believe there's a bug if I dispatch them, my, my soldiers will never come back. So I will postpone that and send them manually. It's currently September, so time has ticked over. I'd wait a little bit longer in the off chance that something would happen. I'm gonna send both of these forts off and, uh, and dispatch them. It is probably going to get us invaded by somebody, but I've been sending gifts out, so they're now happy. The Zhongyu Empire has received a gift. Everyone else seems to be reasonably happy. Yin, Yin is respectful and trade has opened with them, which means uh, bean curd and millet can be brought in. So I think I'll be doing that next. Okay, it looks like Luo Yan is not happy. I sent troops too late. They are still open and they're still trading with me. That means I'm going to need to get my military built up for a quick smart. So let's throw down a bunch of these houses now. And we're going to need, what are we going to need? We're going to need a, uh, a warehouse over here. Come on. We're going to need a warehouse over here that's going to, I suppose I could just put it right here inside the actual block. There's nothing wrong with that. It'll just uh, look a bit funky. But I'll throw this warehouse here and they're going to get silk. Where are we? Silk, you're going to get, uh, get up to 16 for the time being. Silk for these people here, because we need to provide them silk and I believe wares to level them up. Who will sell me lacquerware? Exports, not import. Uh, I really do hate making wares. Uh, nope, I'm gonna have to find somebody who will sell me lacquerware in order to level this up to a higher level. Okay, defeated soldiers return. That's not a good thing. That is definitely not a good thing. Hopefully Luo Yang won't shut down because as far as I've been able to tell, they're our only source of steel. So we're gonna continue pumping out uh, all our military stuff as quick as we can. Let's sell off some of that bean curd or give it away. We've got shit tons of bean curd here. Um, but we are trading. Oh, no, I'm buying in bean curd. That's what, I don't need more bean curd. I'm growing it. Uh, in which case I need somebody else as a source of food. I haven't thought about that very well, did I? It's gonna to have to be Fujior, but we're running low on silk at the moment. Um, damn it, I got confused there. Who will sell us something that we can use? Guangzhou will sell us um, rice and salt, so I think I'm gonna throw them down somewhere as well. For some reason, I can't get these people to level up. It says they require music to evolve. There is a Musician here, I can see them sitting right there, but for some reason they're not evolving. I don't know what's going on with this particular housing block here. Um, it may have glitched out or bugged out in some way. So, I mean, this gate is open. For some reason they're not going out there. Uh, it looks like they're spawning here and traveling that way. So I'm gonna roadblock just those there and see if I can get them to spawn in the center where they're meant to. There we go, finally got them to spawn in the center. So it looks like they were spawning in between. Ah, shit. Thought I'd built that there, but apparently I hadn't quite done that. That was a trading station to Guangzhou and probably had lots and lots of valuable food in it. Doesn't matter, we will rebuild it and uh, get all our uh, rice and salt back. Okay, unemployment is nicely back up into a nice comfortable area. We've got 5,000 people so far, so things are looking much, much better for us. We've got military forming, and we've got these people who need access to all the, sort of the basics. So I'll get them set up now, and then hopefully that'll allow us to uh, level them up, get a proper military going. Okay, special gifts time. It is the year of the metal rabbit. Let's grab some sp special gifts and see we ourselves a Saiga antelope, which is very, very nice. I'm not gonna do a whole lot for us because um, I guess it's not a requirement, but it's good to have it there at least. Now, we've got the required population. We've got the number of people in ornate apartment very easily. And of course, all we need to do now is level these people up to a higher level. And of course, it's not going to go get more food because they've already got a shit ton uh, current quality appetizing. Will they level up? No, I think I'm gonna have to destroy the food shop there, which I think is that one. And then throw down another food shop. Now, it should just go and get tasty food. 
and then uh, then we'll be sorted once we drop off of course some tasty food in there yeah, eventually we'll get some food and there we go impressive compounds have leveled up and once these finish going we should be able to win the mission quite easily traders that have traveled the perilous silk road make mention of a great city called roma in a far distant empire but the grandeur of that and all other barbarian cities surely pales in comparison to the splendor and magnitude of the new Han capital at Luoyang. Well, there we go. That is the end of this mission. And it looks like Rome is in the far distant uh, west. So the year 31, where was Rome? The first emperor had already died in, I believe, 14 AD, which was Augustus Caesar. So we're possibly in the second, third, maybe even the fourth uh, emperor by now over in Rome so that's quite interesting looks like China already has steel technology whereas Rome was still in the Iron Age essentially anyway guys I've been BLX said this has been Emperor smash that thumbs up button if you do indeed enjoy the content and as always guys I will have more Emperor content coming out shortly for you take care and I'll see you around